Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Sal Play Star Trek Online, once again joined by Admiral Drake, as we now attempt to help Tuvok and Harry Kim form a Delta Alliance. What could go wrong? Let's begin. I wonder how many Delta Quadrant powers we've called in to help us. Oh, also, Flores, but before we go any further, let me just get you out of that uh, vac suit. Sorry, distracting. There we go. Back in the proper uniform. Okay, looks like we've got uh, flagships from several thing, different factions. Voyager. Oh, the Benfine Guard, and we've also got the Kamali. So that's two different factions. So it looks like we've uh, we're off to a swimming start, I suppose. I mean, the Benfian are one of the biggest powers in the Quadrant. They do uh, seem to enforce a lot of the rules on the other species. In their jurisdiction, I might add. What are your thoughts, Drake? Hmm? Sorry, I was distracted by the loading screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I was just saying, it, the various races, we could potentially make an interesting alliance. Admiral Tuvok is in the conference room with the yeah, other members of the task force. Follow me, please. I'll take. Now I do wonder how we're going to get the Kazon on board. Yeah, I think that. Seems could like we're never going to get you that difficult. tour. Sorry. The others are waiting for you in the conference room. And cutscene time. Mm -hmm. Let us begin. While the Kobali and the Benfins have agreed to join our alliance, there are many other races in the Delta Quadrant in a position to help us defeat the Vodwar. It will be up to us to show them the benefits of joining us. Seven, I would like you to contact the Cooperative. The Cooperative should be amenable to our offer. They have as much to lose as we do. Cool. Neelix, your experience as a trader makes you an excellent choice to work with the Hazari. The Hazari? This won't be easy, but I should be able to pull it off. Captain Kim, we've arranged a meeting for you with the leaders of several Kazon sects. I don't trust the Kazon, but I'll give it my best effort. Doctor, you have experience with the Hierarchy. <laughs> I would like you to infiltrate Ooh. one of their ships and learn more about how they make decisions. That's going to be a blast I from the past. I routines that will be perfect for this mission. As for you... I would like you to visit the Toure in the Octanti, and then provide support to any of the others who require it. We need allies to turn the tide of this war. We cannot fail. Oh uh, yes, because our major power isn't in this quadrant, so I suppose... I, if you return to the transporter room, though there is I never thought to I'd be a spokesperson for this alliance myself. Oh, yeah, let's, let's have a chat with them. Oh, I was just gonna run straight back to it, but all right, yeah, let's talk to the them. Cooperative should be a so to you. <laughs> yeah, all right. Apparently, we need to anyway. All right, let's. What does the doctor want? Apparently, nothing. I think only one of us can talk to them because we're in the same instance. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's head back to the turbo lift. Ready to beam you back to your ship, sir. Yeah, beam me back.
Okay, let's walk to the system and hopefully we're not going to get harassed by them or the Voth this time. Considering what happened last time, although we did have the Voth on our side that time. You are? What's this then? That's probably not good. It probably means there is about to be another attack from the uh, the Vodwa. So yeah, and that's close Seems enough. This is restricted right, is space, it? and you're not welcome. We don't need your advice. Our Voth allies are more than strong enough to help us. Very well. Ambassador Norik will speak with you now. Don't waste his time like you, boy. What is the meaning of this? Hello, Norik. I'm just going to deploy my turrets just in case. We want no more alliances. The Turei have a mutual defense pact with the Vol, and it is quite sufficient. And we go. You knew this was coming though, didn't you? <laughs> oh, I just we called in the Diedrich's battle cruiser to <laughs> give us some support. <laughs> oh, nice. As soon as we saw that odd subspace disturbance, I was like, yeah, they're going to get attacked. Yeah, I felt the same way as well. I mean, it's a good way of getting to, convincing them to join us. <laughs> it's almost like Garrick planned this himself. Although, thank, unfortunately, you don't get to see Garrick join us until uh, the Gamma expansion. Well, he, except for that one little bit he did with the conference back in the 8472. Fluid dynamic, and fluid destruction and stuff. Which is nice when they they do get the casts from the shows to join. They do end up putting them into uh, previous stuff, which is nice. Yeah, no, and it, it shows in a way how like respected the game is that the they can get the voice actors from the shows to voice the characters in the game. Well, yeah. Uh, because uh, Leonard Nimoy was one of the very first people to do it, and then Michael Dawn as well. And then it's kind of gone on from there. As more and more of them have done part roles or major events. Nothing. Have the Vault or Shuli abandoned us to the Vatwa? No, they've probably got their own problems to deal with at the moment. Enjoy corrosive plasma. I want to see if I can find a, pelos a corrosive plasma or omnidirectional beam array. That'd be interesting. Although that would mean I'd have four omnidirectional beam arrays. That might be a bit overkill. But hey, you can't spell laughter without slaughter. Or is that the other way around? Oh well. <laughs> Prepare for ramming speed. Well, 
Your ship may be formidable. It is still no match for the bomb. We have already chosen our ally. Hmm, what do I want to say? The ship has defeated more Voth. Yeah, than that's it. exactly what I'm going to say. I'm not being diplomatic about this. Lies. This is all a deception, so you can get your hands on the secrets of underspace. Let's go help out the next it person. It is agreeable that your efforts to recruit the Touré were successful. We are reaching out to their embassy to begin our cooperation immediately. Thank you. <laughs> you do not waste any time. Okay. Um, hmm. I mean, we our job was to recruit the Octavia, wasn't it? So I think that should probably be the first place we head to. Yep. complete our mission and then help everybody else out. Yeah. Hopefully most of them aren't going to need it, but if our memory serves, the Kazon do get a bit nippy. Greetings. I am on my way with several cooperative ships. Oh, nice. It was simple enough to get them onto our side, but the real problem now is with the Octanti. The Octanti Consul should be at your location now. Please begin discussions with him. Greetings. I am Ambassador Gellin of the Octanti. I've examined the proposal your government's transmitted, and I'm afraid the Akhani people must decline. The Federation, the Klingon Empire, and the Romulan Republic all give rank and commissions to form drones. You call them liberators. They are still poor. The Borg drove us off our homeworld and massacred our people. Oh, Borg yeah. are poor. We will not join your alliance, and we never will. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. These are the guys who... Oop. And this is poor timing that the cooperative have just arrived. This is Seven of Nine. Yeah. Priority message for the Octonki. Ambassador Rarick, the cooperative has a problem with which they require your assistance. An Octonti synthetic virus has infected a recently liberated queue, causing severe problems for the fragile consciousnesses of the former drones. They are falling to madness. Our sensors show the cube is moving in this direction. You are in danger. Unknown. We need the Octanti to transmit the shutdown code for the synthetic virus. If done quickly, the liberated Borg aboard the cube may recover. Never. Hm. If the virus infected them, then our work is done. They will destroy themselves. Right. It's arriving now. Your time is up. Yeah, here we go. Oh, and it's a tactical cube, so this is going to be funny. Prepare assimilated. Ambassador, please deactivate the virus. There are thousands of liberated Borg on that cube who need your help. Order of flight. The only course of action is extermination. Channel to a cube. Maybe can reason with them. Um. No, we're gonna up it up to the Borg ship. Rarick, where is Rarick? I know he is here. Please deactivate virus. Ah! is that you? That's my brother. He and four other Octanti volunteered to be infected with the virus. And taken by the Borg seven years ago. I, I thought he was lost to us. Okay. Time to weaken the core now. cube. <laughs> ah, it's not working. The cube's automated defenses are too strong. We need to weaken it. Okay, let's weaken that cube. <laughs> Uh, 
Right, as soon as you drop its shields, I'll open up with a full salvo of torpedoes. I mean, I think it's sufficiently weakened already. <laughs> yep. But <didn't> take that long. <laughs> That's our mission completed. We knew recruiting the Octanti was going to be problematic. You did exceptionally well with a very difficult task. Yeah, right, who do you want to help next? Um, I mean, I think Kazon is probably the one to go to next, just because you know Kazon, little Tetri. Yeah, the hierarchies well use cogitators to decide what will make them the best profits. They're essentially a more devious version than the Ferengi, but they're less um, open about it. So yeah, we'll go for the Kazon first, because they'll be the more battle-orientated ones. It's nice to have a tactical cube on our side, though. That'll be useful. And as per usual, guys, let's deploy fight wings Glad because Kazon. It seems the Kazon don't believe we have enough ships to stop the Vodwar. I keep yes. telling them we'll have the numbers if we work together, but they keep insisting they need more information. More ships. I demand to see more. Our scouts have reported seeing Voyager in the Delta Quadrant again. We want to see that ship. Yes, I wonder. I'm going to try something. Things might get dicey if my suspicions are correct. Hmm, yeah, let's deploy my second fighter wing and <laughs> go and shields. Yeah, I'm just. Nelik. Getting into a flanking position behind the enemy, <laughs> just them, just in case. You need to know, I can answer those questions. I was stationed on Voyager during its time here in the Delta Quadrant. You were on Voyager. That's excellent news. If you're willing to vouch for your fleet's strength, Captain Q, we are ready to join your alliance. You're telling me. Wait a second. They just transmitted a coded signal. There's a ship just outside sensor range. Probably waiting for Voyager to arrive. Ensign Harry Kim. Or is it Captain now? Finally got a promotion. Huh. I hope you enjoyed your life, ah. Captain. It ends now. That was... Nice. Huh. That's not a Kazon. That that looks like a hybrid of a Cardassian and a Ka Oh, this is Seska's child. Oh dear. What's that? Oh, yes. I don't know. You have me at a disadvantage. You know my name, but I don't know who you are. At least my so name right. is Seska. I'm in the perfect position. You would have known my mother. You served with her on Voyager until your captain Janeway's hatred and prejudice drove her into exile with the Kazon, where she was a brave and capable leader. Tell me, Captain Kim, do you ever think about what you did to Seska? Seska? Then you must be... We didn't even know you were still alive, Seska. Your father took you when he left Voyager. Leads the entire Nistrum. Okay. 
This is not gonna go well. No. What session then, Captain Kim? Squabble over old hurts. I would like to make you an offer. My clan has taken over a new clan, but the climate is arid and water is in short supply. About a hundred of your terraforming. I, I'm just cycling all my abilities. I'm cool. ready. <laughs> I'm gonna just quickly replicate some terraforming systems. No, I bet you he's going to betray me even after I give them to him, because, you know, case on. Did you just bring in another ship? <laughs> I went in the carry, I should remember. Enjoy turrets right in the center of your lines, boys. And also a Tetrion refracting pulse. Oh, you mean... brought, did you bring in the Dedaris class as well? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I have 18 uses of it. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, you got that off the uh, Romulan reputation mission, didn't you? Yeah. I apologize for the deception. Mage Session holds a great deal of power over the rest of the Kazon clans. I hope my actions here will convince you that our desire to assist you against the Vodwar is sincere. The Kazon are very factional. I can believe that Sesson strong-armed them into acting as they did. I would like to welcome the Kazon Ogla and the other allied Kazon to the Alliance. Okay, well, we'll Great see if that works. The Kazon Relora to join the Alliance. There's no way the Nistrum will join us. Sesson is obsessed with Voyager. Right, where I don't next? know what his father told him about us, but Seska was authority on our side for most of our early time in the Delta Quadrant. She certainly wasn't the victim. She was the aggressor. It looks like her hatred of Voyager has been passed on to her son. I wish he could have had a better legacy. I'll return to Admiral Tuvok in the... Okay, so shall we go for Neelix or the Doctor? I don't mind. You choose. Uh, we'll do the Doctor. Okay. I get the feeling that he's going to have to do some uh, tricky espionage to get them to uh, join us. I don't know, it's what they tried to make him do when he when they kidnapped him. Uh, I'll send the signal. Hello again. I thought it would be best if I used your bridge's hollow emitters for this conversation. I'm currently in disguise on board the hierarchy ship as one of those potato-looking fellows. And I don't think you want to see any more of this than you have to. The hierarchy assume I'm one of the crew. I've begun a review of their cost analysis matrix, which is what they use to determine if any particular course of action will be profitable. Right now, their ship is running silent, which means they're cloaked, and all higher-level computer functions are locked. I need those to complete my review. You need. The ship is currently cloaked by one of the nav beacons in this region of space. Just head to the nav beacon. Oh, okay, yeah, that, simple enough, Doc. The hierarchy once corrupted my programming in an attempt to spy on Voyager. This seems fitting. <laughs> You're not These wrong, Doc. Quite useful. Perhaps I'll write a hollow novel. My experiences as a spy. I wonder if Bashir will enjoy playing that. I don't want any trouble, but I would like to know how you knew our location. Don't 
tell us your secrets and we won't tell you ours. Just do it, just do it. As for your offer of an alliance, give me a moment to consider. The hierarchy is consulting the cost analysis matrix. This is exactly what I need. Hmm. This is going to take some time. We'll need to stall them while I get what I need. I am sorry. But the hierarchy has evaluated the investment needed for such an undertaking. And we find that the Alliance ships are simply outmatched by the bomb. There's no profit in... I have an idea. Follow my lead. Um, perhaps we could arrange for a demonstration of their abilities. I could reroute the cloaking device through our main deflector dish and create convincing holographic targets for them to fight. You... you could do that. Very well. That I see, think you're moving in the wrong direction. Then we'll run the numbers again. I might... Oh, my engines are running. Whoops. <laughs> two holographic board probes coming up. <laughs> you were just getting further and further away from me. And I was like, what's Sal doing? <laughs> Bulwark. Oh yeah, I've really gone out of the way. <laughs> Use bridge officer abilities to impress hierarchy. Okay. Is the bulwark cruiser spawned in yet? Yeah, there it is. Right. I think the I think the Voth is struggling to keep up with us as well. Now you can finish off the Voth. I, I, I don't believe it. Run the numbers again. I don't think we needed it, Doc, honestly. Well. No. <laughs> underestimated you. If other ships are like yours, we'll gladly join you. Yep, and now we'll sneakily recover the doctor while we wait. Excellent work, Doc. Your recordings of the hierarchy's cost analysis matrix will be a great benefit to Starfleet Intelligence. Hmm. And you. I must say, bringing the hierarchy into the Alliance is quite unexpected. I thought it would take weeks of back-channel negotiations to make any progress with them at all. Thank you for taking a risk. That is all right. Let's to me, let's... Yep. Hopefully he's not in too much trouble. We'll get there and he's like, yep, sorted, done. Oh, they want a large cache of materials as an incentive. But no, I hope Neenix has got it sorted. However, fight a wing. Oh, thank goodness you've arrived! I'm trying to work with the Hazari, but they are a demanding lot. They're using this opportunity to milk the Benthans for everything they've got. Oh, wow. To say the least. First, they want the Benthans to void the warrants of three of the Hazari, Niken, Yakela, and Nagrasa. Then they want two prisoners released. And if that weren't enough, they're demanding bounty hunting licenses for the Ramar, Zilman, and Asprinti systems. Pleasure to see you again. I assume you can speak with more authority than this Talaxian. Then I wish you good luck. Your offer is tempting. But we simply don't have any help to do. The Benthans usually have a ship patrolling this area of the system. It's a neutral ground, but they know what can happen in neutral areas. The ship should be able to con. Well, the Benthans keep a close eye here. on this system. Yep, that, that might be useful in case we need to blast our way. Well, I'm just thinking, you know, Neelix came here to negotiate and they sent four frigates and an escort. That's intimidating. Especially with yeah, just Neelix's I mean, cargo ship. Yeah. Hence why I think I'll just stay here. It's a bit of... Don't try anything. Essentially, they may test their assumptions at their convenience. <laughs> A more classy way of saying, F around and find out. 
Yep. Oh, I believe it's stupid. It's always the man when it comes to the Hazard. <laughs> the man deals in contracts. Transmit their list. I haven't had a good laugh in days. There's no way we'd agree to all this. Sorry. Good point. I can rescind the warrants for the cannon to kill him, but not the grasp. He's caused too much trouble to let him go free. And the prisoners, I'll exchange them for the Ken. If the Hazari will give him up, he's been raising havoc with the Saxon. Will they give us what we want? Of course we knew they wouldn't give us everything. But if you don't ask for everything, you won't get anything. Hmm? What? Oh, I mean good. Let's see here. We give the Benthans Nikedin, and we get two of our captains back? <laughs> Done. Nikedin is a Bashik Monar. I think the closest translation we have to your language is a pit where you throw your pack at him. Take him, huh. but he won't go without a fight. Sure, I'll draw up the contract. Just transmit your authorization, and you've got it. As soon as the bent. Okay. Well, you know what this means, don't you? We've got to go and blast somebody. I'll go and get the agreement off the Benfans. A trap? Fine. I'll kill you then, my so-called friends. <laughs> That was quick. Fine, fine, fine. I won't lose my ship and crew for this. You beat me. What? The Benthans? I thought I'd be going to one of your prisons. Lowering shields now. We should take our prisoner to that Benson patrol ship. How's it going over there? Yeah, fine. The Hazari seem a little too happy about this outcome. Even if Yadrin doesn't like Nikedrin. I didn't think he'd be so quick to give him up to the Benthans. And myself right behind I don't think that's the case. On behalf of all the Hazari, thank you for delivering that Grotok Nikedin to the Benthans. Oh, what can it hurt now? We've got an airtight contract. Remember those hollow emitters we got from that Ferengi? He also sold us a nice personal sized one with a low emission power pack. We gave that one to Nikedin. Right about now he should be slipping out of the brig and into the crew of that Benthan cruiser you delivered. <laughs> a spy on the high Justicar ship. <laughs> we oh, know everything. Dare. Not so fast. Our contract specifically states that you cannot interfere in the matter of Captain Nikedin once you have delivered him to the Benthans. Telling them would be the very definition of interference. Ugh, what are you going for? Contact be contract be damned or you know what, no. We've made the contract, I'm gonna honour it for now. But there's no saying we don't have to break it later. And that's, that's done. done. I'll meet you back at Voyager. I understand the Hazari used the pretense of the Alliance to place a spy on the Benthan ship. Heard about some and that their contact with us will be voided if we inform the Benthans of his presence. Fortunately, we have our own operatives in the Hazari organization. 
They will be able to marginalize the effectiveness of the Hazari spy while still keeping them as a tool to use against the Vodwar. Underhanded, but hey, that is what Section 31 is for, I suppose. Right, let's head over to Voyager. Get this Delta Alliance officially started, and then we can start getting ready to take down the Vodwar. Congratulations are in order. I did not expect us to bring together all of the races we approached on this mission. You were instrumental in our efforts today. Myself and the Alliance thank you for all the effort you have put into making this work. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Hello oh guys, thank you for watching. This has been a... 30 minute one maybe a bit more than that all right let's wait for our good old friend commander burgess sent me a report on the situation hopefully the work we've done today will pay off the vadwar are a large threat one that cannot be ignored the vadwar lost everything 900 years ago when their enemies united against them it shows how arrogant goal is that he's allowing it to happen again one might say he had the goal to let us do it again Drake, whatever you do, do not press the PvP button. <laughs> Better be no less than I deserve. Right, guys, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Take care.